Good afternoon, everyone. This is Matt Croissant, your internet manager and dedicated content creator over here at Kia of Columbia here in Missouri, getting you some information on this 2020 Jeep Compass Trailhawk. So the Trailhawk comes very well equipped here, is also trail rated. We're going to go ahead and dig in and show you what all this Compass has to offer to you. So we've got some nice large halogen headlights up front. Daytime running lights here with some fog lights. Get some front red receiver hooks just in case you get stuck out there on the trails. Then moving along to the right here, we've got a 17 inch wheel set with some all season mud and snow rated tires available for you. And check out that nice ride height on this vehicle. Got the compass badging there in black with a nice red outline. Got some darkened mirrors, turn indicators on there for you. Keyless entry will be on your front two doors for locking and unlocking. We've also got a rail system up above for some extra cargo capability if you install some crossbars. We've got that same nice darkened trim going across our head, uh, not blah, 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 blah. along the window trim there. Privacy glass on all of your rear windows as well. Before we get too far ahead of ourselves, just to go over the majority of features and equipment on this Compass Trailhawk. It has about 86,048 miles, paired up to a 2.4 liter four cylinder with a nine speed automatic. And this is billet silver metallic, one of the most popular uh, paint codes for all Mopar products. And inside we've got a ruby red and black premium cloth leather combo interior. Any other information that you need, head on over to keyofcolumbia.com or scan this QR code right now. Wrapping around to the rear here, we've got some sharp looking LED tail lights. I'm sure with some halogen turn indicators built in. You've got a heated back glass with a rear wiper and sprayer, backup camera, four x four badging, trail hog badging, and a rear receiver hook as well, depending on which direction you need to get pulled out. This is gonna have a manual lift gate for this size of vehicle class. If this were like the Cherokee Trailhawk that we also have here available for you, that one does have a power lift gate, which is also a slightly larger vehicle overall. Pretty rugged, pretty tough looking. The silver really complements all of the darkened uh, contrast items on the trim here. Nice little matte insert, which you can find on your Trailhawks. Let's go ahead and hop inside and see what this vehicle has to offer. You've got heated mirrors, by the way. Inside, you've got power locks, windows, and mirrors. Front two windows are automatic. You've got a window lock here, some nice storage in the doors for a bottle holder. We can see that black and red stitching on the trim here. Nice little outline there on the speakers. And there's that cloth leather combo in action for you. Trailhawk stitching here. This is gonna have a six-way manually adjustable driver's seat. This larger lever you can use for pump action to lift and lower the seat, as you can see. Lever to adjust the back, and then a bar right here for an aft adjustment. You got nice red trim everywhere, stitching on the leather wrapped steering wheel, encompassing our dashboard. Very nice, it's little things. So we've got automatic headlights on here with your fog light adjustment right there. Dome light control, cabin control, is, or sorry, dash light control. Dome is a part of the cabin. I'm all twisted up today, huh? We've got a leather wrapped steering wheel here and just checking in our controls here. It does not have a heated steering wheel on this model, but that's okay. You've got that automatic climate control on here taking care of you. If you need to adjust the steering wheel, you can unlock it from right over here. And tilt and telescope to get this exactly where you need it to be. On the left hand side of the steering wheel, we're gonna have this directional pad with the selector button for your drive display here. So we're gonna go ahead and just head to the top where we've got a speedometer. Moving to our next screen, we can check out tire pressure information, coolant temp, tranny temp, oil temp, and your battery charging. You can also view your fuel economy. Right now the average based on this trip info is 24.3 miles to the gallon there. And then you can also check out your respective trip A and trip B information. Stop start technology is on board to turn the engine off when you're at a full stop. Right now, uh, because of the cooling, uh, the cooling selection that I have for the climate system, 
Uh, the compass is first going to make sure that the passenger is comfortable as well as making sure that the engine temperature is optimal before it shuts everything off. So if it's really hot or really cold out like it is right now and, and a lot of times in Missouri, um, it's not always going to turn that feature off for you. It's a pretty, pretty smart car, you know. You got your audio information here, messages, and your screen settings that you can check out as well as vehicle settings too, all from this digital display right here. You also have Bluetooth and voice recognition, and then you've got your cruise control over here. Left-hand wand will control your blinkers and brights. Right-hand wand is going to control your front and rear wipers with their respective sprayers. Then looking up above here on our visor, we've got a nice little ticket holder here, ticket holder there. It's mirrored and it's lit. If you swing this out, it's also telescopic for you. Up here, we also have some nice interior lighting for you. Nothing there, not a button. And we have an auto, nope, sorry, this is going to be a standard rear view mirror here. Down below, you have a nice large touch screen, as you can see. Right now, we're on the climate screen, but you've got access to your radio, which is going to give you uh, AM, FM, and Sirius. If you have media available for you, you can connect to Bluetooth or use this USB and auxiliary port as well. Then going back to the climate screen, this is an automatic dual climate temperature control system. So right now I have it on auto, just have it set to a particular temperature, and then the compass will take care of the rest for you. Then with all of your apps available, you get your radio, media, climate, compass, your audio settings. I'm sure this has some form of projection features as well, like for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. This is a 2020 model, so that can be easily assumed. You can go into your settings here, and get anything else adjusted that you want to as well. Then moving down below here, you can mute from here, adjust your volume, turn the screen off, you can tune or browse and scroll, and then you've got your analog controls for your climate control system. And then to the left here, we've got a nice little uh, drive selection system. So you can see you can put the vehicle in four low. This is a downhill angle controller, which will utilize the transmission to downshift a couple gears to help you do some engine braking. Instead of you just having your foot on the brake the whole time, soaking heat into your pads and rotors, rendering them uh, to be less effective. You've also got a four-wheel drive lock right here. This will give you 50-50 front and rear power distribution at lower speeds. And then you can rotate this dial here to switch between snow, sand, mud, and rock. And uh, it'll give you instructions too. You have to shift to four-wheel drive low for this one here, and there's some in indicators and instructions on screen as well for whatever's going on so depending on your terrain you can choose that or you can just leave it in auto and let the compass figure it out for you which it'll be doing all the time anyways we've also got this 12 volt outlet here shifter put it in reverse is going to bring up your backup camera you got a clear view of your bumper here nice little center line and then these left and right hand lines actually represent the sides of the compass even though it looks quite narrow but cutting the wheel to the left or right will show you where the vehicle is projected to path to. And as long as nothing is coming in between the left and right hand lines, you're good to go. But once things start to get close, make sure you check on those handy dandy mirrors to make sure you're good to go. Start stop technology button is right here. If you want to disengage that, you have an electric parking brake right here. Just put your foot on the brake to engage or disengage traction control key fob for you cup holders center console slides forward I just found out oh yeah it's a nice deep well for storage right here this looks like this may be dual level no just for the sliding feature there that's nice though you've got your glove box nice big box there for storage for you okay that's gonna be it for the front driving area everybody we're gonna go ahead and check out back seats and the hatch It's a wonderful day at Kia. All right, got some extra storage in the doors here. Cargo bags behind the seats, rear ventilation, rear USB port, and a power inverter. So this has a little ground on it so you can plug your laptop charger in or anything that you need to for some extra juice there. Back seats have the same cloth leather combo with seating for three. Got a nice little armrest with cup holders here um, or a nice little phone holder spot right there too. We've got hooks, handles, and lighting up above. 
pulling this lever right here, we can fold the rear seats down if need be. Lifting this up, we can see we've got a great amount of cargo space back here. We've got a 12 volt outlet and some lighting over here to the left. Some extra little storage cubbies right here. It appears that these may be removable for you. If you want to pull that out, you use that as a little uh, drink cooler. Got your spare tire back here. This appears to be a full size spare based on the width of the tread here. Yes, it is. Very nice. You'll have roadside tools in here as well, as all spare tires do come with that, as well as some extra little cubbies for some storage for you too. All right, very nice. Close this up right here, give it a little swing, you're good to go. Transitioning over to the passenger side, we're just gonna check some adjustability over here for the front passenger seat. It's gonna be six way adjustable on this side as well, just like the driver's seat. And we've got a little cargo net over here for you too, for some extra storage. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this 2020 Jeep Compass Trailhawk. Make sure you like and share this video with your friends and family. Leave a comment if you have any compliments, questions, or corrections, or maybe some helpful information that you know about the 2020 Compass Trailhawk for anybody else watching this video with you right now. Most importantly, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell, so that way you can stay up to date with all of the vehicles we're uploading to this channel for your informational and shopping needs. This 2020 Compass Trailhawk is available for sale and any other information that you need, such as your trade value, Carfax, pricing information, or getting in contact with our team to help you with all of your vehicle needs, head on over to KiaofColumbia.com. This is Matt Croissant over at Kia of Columbia. We hope you're having a wonderful day.